What's going on, everyone? Jason here. And I've been doing some modifications. Now, what I have noticed is it actually brightened it up a lot. For some reason on this game, or this seed, I should say, my location is a lot darker than any other game I've ever played on. So yeah, by removing all the black in the center, turning that white, it definitely uh, reflected off better. And now I actually can see it actually pop with the candles. In fact, I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to need all these candles anymore. Let's see. Let's at least get the bottom ones. That one, that one, oh, I have one back here. And it's still pretty lit. Now, if need be, I can always move it down to the center, make it a little bit more even as far as the spread. But yeah. I'm still working out a lot of the details, but I think I know where I'm headed. As you can see, I knocked out the walls. Started trying to plot my uh, walls and everything down here. And as a result of at least the foyer with the black blocks, I decided to start working on this and try to bring all this up and actually replace it with the, the green block instead. Of course, it's foggy outside, so visually it's not all that great outside, but but for what it is, at least it is an improvement. I do want to try to keep some of the drop ceiling blocks, just so you have that contrast, but um, yeah, a little bit more happier. Now, what's messed up, when I took these blocks out and replaced them... Uh, that triggered for the snow to be able to fall through the glass again. So at some point, I'm going to have to go back upstairs, knock out that glass, and put new uh, new windows back in to prevent it from snowing down here. Because even though the snow blends in with the green block, you can still hear it when you're crunching. As you can see, I'm 5% wet. Well, that might be because I was outside. The forge, on the other hand, is still really, really dark. There's not much I can do about that. I am going to try to pull up the floor, add some green blocks down there as well. Now, thankfully, I have done quite a bit of, uh, like, clay digging and everything. And with the resources I have, you know, you can see I got almost uh, six full stacks of uh, flagstone, so... I'll be good to go on that. So I got plenty of resources anyway, at least for the... To redo all the floors as needed. And then just to work out some major details. But I kind of do know how I'm going to go about it. So it should be pretty... uh. Pretty nice one. It's all said and done. But I was kind of debating on what I should do today. I have one more day before Hort Night. So I really can't travel anywhere. And I'm really, really debating. I think after Hort Night tonight, I am, or not tonight, but tomorrow night. Uh, I'm going to pack up, pack up some supplies. And I'm going to move to this town for a week. I've only driven past everything. I never looted any of the towns. And I really need to solve my gas issue. So I think that's what we're going to do after Horde Night. But for tonight, I figured... Let's see, I need wood, wood frames... 
figure we work on the, the exterior of the base. Or at least the hotel. Now, I'm probably going to jinx myself, but uh, I've noticed I haven't been getting dog days. Now, I don't know if that's because I've always been constantly on the move uh, or what. I just know I haven't been I haven't been attacked by massive packs of dogs. Yeah, you can see I added this. I did add the lights back. Uh, I said hell with it. I got to be able to see my shit. Um, so I am definitely keeping those lights there. Like I said, I'm thinking about uh, replacing some of this with the white cream blocks. And if that is successful over there, uh, when I go to that desert town, I am going to strip some of it. So any working light, I will break down. I'm just going to make a habit of it like I used to do it. But for the time being, I do need to repair my tools because I need them tip-top shape. So let's get the steel. My fire axe. All right. And, and you know what? No, I don't need forged iron. Just show you a glimpse into my badness, pretty much. So I make six there. Make another six of that. And what the hell? I'll go ahead and repair that now. All right. So while that's doing that, put that away. And just throw those candles over there. Go ahead and uh, check the forge. Now, I really should be grinding for resources to some degree, but I did smash quite a few rocks coming home from the trader. <laughs> that tells, I was in the dark when I did all that. But you can see my stone is severely in pain right now. I'm used to having like two, two and a half, almost three uh, rolls of that. Clay, like I said, I did get, I started a new pit. Since I cleared out the one that I was originally starting on. Lead, I took, uh, I think it was almost like 4,000. Yeah, 47. 4,700, I just dumped it all in there. And even brass. But what I'm going to go ahead and do, since I'm here, let's see, what do I have in brass? Yeah, I need to break down those cars. That's what I should do. But like I said, I really do want to focus on my, my base. Okay, so how many bullet tips can we make total? Oh, nice. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and make 1,500. I want to make absolutely sure I can uh, survive Horde Night. Because I did make quite a bit of um, gunpowder. So I'm definitely not hurting for for gunpowder at any, any point now. And let's see. And for oops, I need the casings. 
So I'm actually gonna need brass. Wow. Well, not really. I mean, doesn't really go in any recipe. Hey, you know what? This honey, we'll just take at least half of that. Yeah, radio right quick. a little glimpse of my madness. They're like, Clay's still going. I shouldn't need... Now, I always put 1,500 wood. Uh, and the reason is, is because that pretty much covers to 3,000 every time. Uh, stone that you get, well, 6,000 stone uh, to make everything. But you can see I didn't make anything. But... I got some more concrete, thankfully. And this is why I'm running out of stone. I got a nice stock uh, stockpile of cement. I'm going to solve this, I swear to God. Even if I have to pull up the entire floor. It seemed to work for, the, uh, for my foyer entering the hotel, so... Come on. So as you can see, I started uh, working a little bit on it. And you can see how that's all going to all gonna get changed. So it's a hell of a process. Don't get me wrong. So let's go ahead and start on that. Now, I probably should be digging out my moat, but I don't really want to mess with that all too much. That. Now I need my cream block. Take that. Drop you. Take another one. And drop you. There we go. Or is that going to be too close? Because I kind of want to be able to hit multiple areas without being hindered. Or I could just do the center right there first. Yeah, that's probably what I should do, right? So we'll just go on, uh, so I'm going to fast forward. And yeah, let's get some building done.
Not too bad. But I kind of feel like I should put drop ceiling block there. Yeah. Oh, well, then again, it is white over there, so. Can't see the highlight. bad so you can see pretty much how it's gonna go come back this way Nine o'clock. I mean, we got plenty of time. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and eat. I do need to check out my farm actually now that I'm thinking about it. I figure just a relatively chill day, right? Or, well, that's always the hope. Let's go ahead and add that back. And actually... Yeah, let's just work on this.
Okay. So I didn't really think about it at the top. Like, we got this little... I don't know. What you'd actually call it. I don't know if I really want to keep that or not. Yeah, unfortunately, I was up here a long, long time ago. But if I keep it... Actually... If I was to break it down... Replace that with that... We're going to have to look at the bottom... And look visually up... Just to see... Now you want to go a little bit slow when you're coming back down... You can accidentally still break your leg... If you drop too fast. The game won't register that you're actually landing on those frames. But. Not too bad. Now, of course, those concrete, that's going to get uh, changed. I don't know about the center. I do have some kind of thought of what I want to do with it, but that's definitely... Uh, if I was to do what I'm kind of thinking, that's going to be very, very heavy. See, like, coming back all the way over here, I mean, that really serves no purpose. Now, I guess, in theory, I could actually build something up there if I really wanted to. Of course, the only way technically up there is through one of the apartments. If I wasn't going to build my own uh, personal base, that would be the apartment that I would take uh, the deck out for my own personal gain. But yeah. Oh, that's a tree stump. But like I said, that's a lot of, a lot of work. Because I still have to take all this, convert all that, and all the way around. But that airdrop's about to fall, so that's actually good. You know what, we're going to throw this stuff in here. Just in case, because you never know what I find out on the road. And I don't really want to be hung up with it. So, put you all back. You. And since I'm going to run back down and fix my damn pickaxe. So, where'd it go? Out oh, to the north. Figures it'd be an area that I've been at way too much lately. But I think if I see any cars along the way, I'm definitely going to take that out. So, let's see. Okay. know how I make life. And actually... Oh, that's right. I was making test safe shit. And the core. Put you there. I'm not too worried about putting crap away right now. And any day now. There we go. But yeah, I figured just show you a little bit. That's pretty much how I build. Or not really how I build, but 
what I'm going to build, I should say. At least the outer shell. Then, of course, there's a lot of fun on the inside to do, so... But I need a lot of chrysanthemum, which I do need to go visit my farm. Which I think I'll do that after this. Okay, well, I find it a little bit funny how I talked about how I stripped all the the boulders around my vicinity and all that wonderful shit. And then the airdrop goes right where I haven't been, apparently. So I did kind of dig a detour and started uh, chopping some of the boulders down. So I need to... Oh, that's why, yeah. I haven't really been over here. Okay, that makes sense now. Well, I did get an AK-47 part. But yeah, that makes... That, right, that makes sense. That explains why... There's boulders everywhere. My y'all are... It's pissy today, ain't ya? Well, that'll never get old. At least not for me. Now, the fun part was, there was actually two cars over here. And I got room going, on that. Yeah. Oh, wow. I've never even looked at it. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Now, let's see. We will drop that. Drop that. Oh, you want to go, bro? What? Oh, everyone just wants to piss on my weed. Oh. Sit your bitch ass down. All right, piss on it. Stone while I'm here. Nice, but don't I have 600? Yeah. So I'll take the axe. Grain alcohol. Is that everyone? I don't feel like that was everyone. Let's just run over the area real
You can tell when there's a gore block. Yeah, see, I'm slowing down. There it is. Don't you get high for me? I probably missed one, but it'll be alright. Alright. Let's throw all this shit away. Get back to what I was doing. There we go. Good. Eh. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'll save the paper this time. I'm going straight back to my base anyway, so. But I'm pretty sure I've. I'm pretty sure I've looted this. Oh, I guess I didn't bother to. To make sure I didn't leave anything on the damn. Probably dropped an engine or something, and I didn't even realize it. Wouldn't doubt it. All right. Yeah, this was one of them. I think I looted so. Let's head back to the base. Or then again, maybe not, because I haven't been there. I know I didn't loot this area. Pretty sure I didn't. Just stick all that in there. Head up here. Ah, hey, another machete. Alright. All right, now let's get back to the base. All right. Now that that's set, we go upstairs. Ten barrels of gas, that's all I have left. I don't think I have any more gas in here. I'm not even sure. I don't see any mini bike parts. I don't think I threw. Yeah, that's how I'm able to make uh gas. Although I do have I do have a few of that, so. Uh, let's see. How much can I make? 800? Well, that'll get me going for a while. Not the best, but definitely could be worse. Was it making anything? Alright. Oh. The schematics. Now, you might be wondering why am I saving all the schematics? I kind of want to do a library again. Um, but I'm not 100% sold on how I'm going to do it or if I'm going to do it, so. And I mean, since we're here, go ahead and repair that. And, although I think this has been a pretty common part for me. The hunt for more um, AK parts is definitely in the in the hunt for me. But we're gonna go ahead and eat another meat stew. Eat a piece of yucca. Drink some water. All right. Uh, 
Now, let's see. I definitely need to get to um, my farm. But I want to follow the road south. Basically where my spawn point was. Because I believe there's still cars over there. And the more cars mean the more gas, so... I definitely gotta have it. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Good old memories. Okay. Let me break all this down. I thought there was two cars there. Either that I'm losing my mind. But that does remind me. I'm pretty sure I did not break down the cars along this road. Well, there's that one that I saw on Horde Night, so... I almost want to leave that car just for the visual, but no. Nah. Nice. And did I not ever check all this? Huh. Wow. Oh, that was early game. Well, I didn't have anything to really break it down, I don't think. Well, I was too panicky to get somewhere. Hey! Hey, jackass! <laughs> the hell's your problem, man? Oh, prick. Impatient. Don't worry. You and all your buddies are going to be beat me, me here anyway in a day. So let's go ahead and get all this. All right. So where's my knife? I didn't get one fucking engine. Or a battery out of those cars. Well, that's kind of bull. That's all right. We got the cars up here, so I'm hoping some of them. I can't really remember if I've seen a lot of cars up on this road or not. But since I didn't go back to the town in the west and strip all the cars, that's why I'm in a gas crisis at the moment. There you go. Wow, did I not check anything on it? Wow, I didn't break anything. Guess I figured I wouldn't be back up this way or something. I don't know. Oh, good God, dude. There.
Uh oh, do we see a little romance over here going? Shh. Whoa, check it out. Hey, come on over here. Ain't got no damn time for romance in the zombie apocalypse. Oh, hell with it. Oh, good God. I swear she walks through more... More shit. Yeah. Might be wondering why I broke that up. Just because. The damn apocalypse. Ain't got no time for that bullshit. Ah, oh, the green biome. This is where I actually need to come to get, uh, boulders. The snow biome has been really, really good, don't get me wrong. I am not arguing. I thought, hmm, I guess I... Ready to them out. And you can see my light from over here. That's where I'm digging my my current clay spot. Just started on it, so when I do go back to there, it's gonna be well, well worth it. Cause that thing it's a pretty good sized patch right there. No, I guess I could work on what I wanted all the way. Oh, hey, do, Sylvia. Anything for me? Of course you don't. Because I guess I did get kind of lucky they came in from this angle. If they come from this side... I mean, I'll be able to see him coming, but I do wonder if they'll be able to fly right into that. I don't think they'll be able to fly right into the base, uh, but if there's a swarm of them, that might become an issue. Yeah, look at that. That's bullshit. You can see where my bed is. Although it's buried under snow. The damn bed is sitting right... Oh, there it is. You bleed from your ass, man. What the hell? Oh, no way. Better be in the fucking garage. <laughs> fucking prick. That's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, this map is pissing me off. Alright, so I'm gonna try something. Dance, bitch. They still go to it because it's a door. Alright. Let's see if that works. Oh, that asshole's on the... Oops. Shit. And... What? Shoot you in the damn arm, then. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Dumbass. Well, I knew when I picked up my bedroll. <laughs> Everyone talks about spawning tomorrow. You just pretty much all you gotta do. Maybe because I left it on the ground. So I'll put it on this. Make it quote unquote my base. Since it's on my own frames. And see if that prevents 
future spawning. That at least will answer some questions. That's bullshit. Alright. Yeah, yeah, you're cold. What a, what a being a jackass. And even if I wanted to say hell with it and abandon doing the whole four way and just concentrate on the hotel as my base, you've seen that they were spawning literally right outside my damn walls. So I don't know if it's if that's common in the snow biome, if that's like a glitch in the snow biome, or just really, really shit luck, because I've never had that before. Alright, so I put the bedroll in the center. Like I said, I'm gonna hope that actually uh, prevents spawning now. I'm not gonna guarantee that. But overall, it was just supposed to be a chill day, and it kind of was. Got to see the uh, base for what it is. I mean, it's so dark. Damn. And like I said, I do have an uh, idea of what I want to do with that center block. I think it'll actually look pretty damn sick when it's all said and done. Now, if you're wondering why I went with white on all on those, it's because I could have manipulated and put like double row blocks. That way I'd have white walls inside the apartment. But I didn't want a two block length between the windows. And it really wouldn't look right if you had, you know, only blue in one section and Everything else is a different color. At least this looks a little bit lighter now. That's actually coming along the way I that I know it as. Like I said, I I might mess around and move it down just to see. But at least it's starting to take shape so I think that's all I'm going to really do now for the rest of the night Horde Night is coming really really quick and there's a lot of work to be done so I'm going to go ahead and tear out this floor until morning and hopefully I can replicate at least that out there so with that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and take it easy, everyone. The atom bomb is now just glowing embers. With every dawn, I'm feeling stronger still. But despite the slow decay, it never goes.